up everybody so I just did my full comprehensive health check in Bangkok and I want to take you guys on that little journey so check it out so it's six o'clock in the morning right now and I'm gonna head to my health check it's something that I used to do every year until COVID hit so it's a full body check checking for tumors getting my ultrasound and my liver my gallbladder my stomach eye examination, stool tests, urine tests, levels of cholesterol, glucose, pretty much everything. So I go to this hospital in Bangkok called Bummer and Grand, and it's one of the top international hospitals in the world. It's a one-day test, and they give you all the results on data so you can take home. I'm a little scared because there was a little plaque buildup in one of the arteries. My father also has diabetes, so I'm a little bit worried about my glucose levels because I do love my sweets. So it's been four years since I did the last one, and I'm a little concerned at what the numbers will be. So let me take you on this little half a day journey. So I'm just entering the grounds of the Bummer and Grand International Hospital. It's a nice hospital, a lot of wings, and this wing right here is called A Building, and this is the building that I do my comprehensive full body check. This is the waiting area where you check in and you get your number. And just like certain places in Japan, like the hospitals, you have to wear a mask. So lucky I had one of my mom's masks with me at the time. Thanks mom. I got my wristband with my name on it, my hospital number, just to show that I'm a legitimate patient here at the hospital. And before everything starts, the shitty part. Got to pay the price, about 800 US dollars. So after paying, I wait at this waiting area until the nurse comes to get me. When she comes to get me, she takes me to the first station. So at this first station, I check my height and weight, I do a little eye examination, and they take my blood pressure. Now they're gonna take some blood to test my vitamin levels and cholesterol and whatnot. This nurse was so good, I didn't even feel the poke. Now she's gonna drain vials of blood to take tests. There's one, she's putting in another one. Another one. And I think this is the last one. Four vials altogether full of my blood. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that sign. The next step was to get my change of clothes and change to the hospital clothes. To be honest, I was actually worried about them having my size, but no problem, fit good. And these are actually pretty comfortable. Then I had another nurse come and take me to the next room. It's the stress test where I walk on a third room and they check the blood flow in my arteries to my heart. They check out all the sensors they put on me. So I just talked to the doctor and he said that it's pretty normal. So. I don't need to take a CT like last time. He said, get exercise, lose weight. And he said, my cardio is pretty good. Good news, don't have to take a CT. I just gotta get on the diet and stay strict on it. So as I'm going through all the stations, they have like a checklist on a paper. And they check off as I'm done with each station. So that's the list. I'm pretty much almost there. Now I'm waiting to do my chest x-ray and ultrasound and they want me to drink a lot of water. Here we go. After the x-ray and ultrasound, my least favorite part, taking the stool and the urine. There's a little spoon that you can scoop your stool. And these toilets are designed a little different where it's a little water and a big area to drop the important stuff. Station B, next station. Next step was an eye examination and after that, because I was fasting all morning was my favorite part, the food. As you can see, the food's pretty good. They have soups, pastries, chicken rolls, 
lettuce, yogurt, juice, coffee, everything. Pretty much everything. Some milk too. This is my selection. I put granola over yogurt. Yeah. Some chicken salad and some chicken wrap. The Burma Grand International Hospital is super nice. Some people say it's too expensive and only for the rich. But I gotta disagree with that because I'm definitely not rich. But I found it pretty reasonable. So I just got back from the health check. And because I went so early in the morning, about 6 o'clock, and the whole procedure was actually done at like 10.30. And the whole procedure only took about 4 hours. Good news, all the numbers are great. On the stress test, there was no abnormal recovery. So that means there's no sign of a significant plaque buildup in the arteries. The only thing that they told me was that I have a fatty liver, so I gotta lose weight. I already knew that though. Glucose levels are perfect. Cholesterol's good. Blood pressure's normal. So pretty much got a clean bill of health. And I was never one that wanted to do this. I was always afraid of getting results on any type of health deficiencies that I have. But what really scared me was when one of my students, Kei Yamamoto, who's 10 years younger than me, suddenly died of cancer. I feel there's so much more to live for. And I just decided to take that jump and doing my first health check when I was 50 years old. I was the type of guy that hated the hospital and always said stuff like, when you die, you die. I don't want to know when I'm going to die. And this health check in Thailand costs about $800, about a half a day, and you get all the results and you get doctor's consultation. You also can take home the data. This year I got a clean bill of health and I'm super happy. And I just wanted to make this video to let all of you know that's hesitating on doing a health check, that doesn't want to go to hospitals, or has that mentality that I had, I don't want to know, go do it. Be safe. And if there's any type of ailments or any type of problems that could lead to a very bad health problem or even death, it's good to know right away. And if it's not important for you to do it for yourself, we'll do it for your loved ones. Life is short and you only got one. So all of you out there, go get your health check. Whether you do it in your own country or you come to Thailand like I do, better safe than sorry. Go and take that time and get the check. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. That's my yearly checkup in Bangkok. I hope you all stay healthy and have a great day. Right on.